The Indian Railways is desperate for funds after years of low investment and populist policies that have subsidized fares and taken a toll on safety standards. That's no secret. But the government's now taking a step back on its rail fare hike announced last week, not because of pressure from the opposition, but from its own MPs and allies. Was the bitter medicine perhaps way too bitter? After all the fanfare, late Tuesday evening came the first rollback of the Narendra Modi government. And though only partial in nature, this circular confirming the relief granted to millions of commuters who travel by second class and will now have to shell out a comparatively much smaller amount. Earlier in the day, Shiv Sena and BJP MPs from Maharashtra, led by Union Power and Coal Minister Piyush Goel, met the Railway Minister. The Honourable Minister endorsed it and said that definitely I appreciate your concern and look into the matter and definitely I will give some relief to definitely. The biggest relief of this partial rollback is for 75 lakh commuters who daily use the local trains to commute in Mumbai. Last week's decision had raised the fares by more than 100 percent. Now it's then now it's affordable actually. Okay. I think that was initially for the long distance trains, but if for the train passes also, that's we can afford it now. Okay. I feel it's a relief because earlier it was like too high, but now 14.2 percent is like still okay. We can manage. Raising fares is not only hugely unpopular but politically risky as well, particularly in states like Maharashtra, which go to the polls within four months. And while the Prime Minister has talked about some tough decisions and days ahead to get the economy back on track, clearly for those facing the ballot, this will make the job that much more difficult. So while Piyush Goel, who is also an MP from Maharashtra, ducked any questions, other MPs say they are hopeful of a staggered increase in passenger fares. No, we can definitely convince because the people of Mumbai are a broad-hearted uh, people, they are ready to pay something more to the railway because it is for their own safety. But with losses of more than 30,000 crores, there may not be much room for the railway ministry to manoeuvre. With Siddharth Pandey, New Delhi, in Mumbai, Tejas Mehta for NDTV.